Hi Gemini, this is going to be your reading for 2020. Really hope that you are doing well today. Um, so I'm going to be looking into the year. We're going to do like an overall sort of look into things. I'm going to do a 12 card spread and see what information, messages I can provide to you. Also want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will be in the description box below. And also, if you would like to um, check out my intention bracelets, they are on Etsy. So this one here is actually the finance and wealth bracelet. So we're sort of looking into career and finance or career and money or work and money in this reading. Um, so these are handmade by me. They're meditated with, they're sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. And uh, yeah, I am super excited to be doing this spread. But also if you want to check out the reviews, definitely do head over to my Etsy and then click on reviews and you'll be able to see how other people have seen results with these bracelets. So there's loads of different items on there if you're interested. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this reading, Gemini. All right, so, Korea 2020. So Four of Pentacles has just landed on top of these, um, let me just put the deck there, on top of these three cards that I've got. So we have got here the Eight of Cups. We have got the Justice card. And we have the Knight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. Wow, very interesting. This is almost like you're going to walk away from something and then accept something new. So this is showing to be a new opportunity. Uh, what I am seeing is that some of you are really going to find this very exciting. It's gonna be like a new opportunity that you absolutely love, that you want to uh, take part in, that you just feel so drawn to because essentially this is going to give you a refresh, it's gonna make you feel really good. This is also um, an energy of feeling such, so much more emotionally better if that makes sense. So you're really getting what you deserve here as well. So by settling for a job or being in a situation, work money wise, that isn't serving you, you're actually sort of settling for less abundance, if that makes sense. What it shows here is that you are very much so moving positions, moving jobs, moving even perhaps industries, careers, or maybe even setting up something of your own, which allows you to attract A, more money, B, it allows you to karmically get what you put in, so the more work you put in, um, and also by not settling, you're actually karmically getting something so much more. So this is essentially you getting what you deserve um, in that sense, right? So that's amazing definitely a switch, definitely a move, and a new opportunity. So I see you moving, um, essentially, in terms of career. Ooh. For some of you, you might quite literally move as well. So, uh, you know, maybe moving to a new city or a new town, or maybe even houses as a matter of that. So very, very interesting. Ooh, we've got quite a few cards coming out here. So we've got the Emperor, which is about passion. So this is actually doing something you're passionate about, something that you enjoy. Again, it's to do with that sort of emotional satisfaction as well. Um, not just settling for anything, but really doing what you want to do, which I think is always a very important thing as well. So, wow, celebration. Three of Cups. So Gemini, I really see you here celebrating and also not settling. These two things are just really valuable. Sometimes the universe tries to test us to see whether we're just going to settle for things and stay comfortable. Comfort can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. Everything has to be in moderation, right? And that's exactly what justice is about. Justice is ruled by Libra. It's about balance and moderation, but it's also about karma as well. So it's about lessons and it's really about figuring things out and also doing things that serve your needs. So very important, especially when you go through 2020, to understand what your needs are, what your passion is, and also taking action towards your passions and not giving up. See, the emperor does not give up. So if there's something you've always wanted to do, it really is about doing it. There's, there's no other way for me to put it, you know? So I have calculated that we have all of the cards here, so I'm just gonna move the deck to the side. 
We have the hermit. So this is about analyzing, thinking, wondering, pondering, doing things that you want to do. Okay, so this is really about you taking matters into your own hand, using that light to guide you and to light up your path. See, the hermit is ruled by Virgo. It's very sort of analyzing energy. That's how you will be in 2020. You'll be thinking about possible opportunities, ways in which to open up you know, your horizon, your world. And that's really what I'm seeing. It's, it's a good thing. It's a lovely thing for me to be able to see. And it's definitely going to benefit you by you walking down a path that really suits you and makes you feel so much better. This is about your self-worth as well, right? So emotionally, you know, you may have also felt that maybe you're in cycles and phases, you're not 100% sure, or you're not really, um, you're not really sure that you're in the right place at the right time, or maybe not sure of your purpose, even if you've had something, you know, stable or not. So this here is showing cycles and phases. The moon is about emotionally serving yourself and doing something for yourself. So this card has a lot of meaning in that sense. It's also about digging really, really deep and trying to find, you know, what you want to do and realizing that, hey, I only live once, right? So it's about going towards what you want. Actually, let's go with this card here. I know what that card is. It's a judgment card. So here we go. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so if I show you that, this is about your chakras actually aligning. This is an amazing thing because it shows that if you really, really don't settle and you actually go and do something that you are dreaming about that you that just serves you so much more it makes you feel so much better it makes you feel a confident b it gives you this boost and c it starts to align your chakras now when chakras get aligned right it affects multiple areas of our life you know for example if the throat chakra is illuminated we have better communication right? Communication with people around us. Also, not being misunderstood as much, things like that. If our heart chakra is going green, it also really does strengthen love in our life, but also self-love. Um, you know, the um, root chakra, third eye, I mean, everything becomes so much stronger. It's not just in regards to career, it's your life in general. So by doing things that you love, right, and really pursuing them, not only does it bring you more in terms of finance? But if you look at these particular pentacles in this deck, and this deck is called Trip and Wait, just in case you're wondering, it also brings you peace and a lot of growth. It's pretty amazing. And then you've got the Nine of Cups here, right? So the Eight to the Nine shows you walking away, doing a lot of self discovery with this hermit as well. And then Eight to the Nine shows progression of going after your wish, doing something you really want to do and make that wish, you know? I'm rubbing the lamp for you, make that wish. Make it. We've got here the page of one, so this is about pursuing what you want to do, this is about initiating, and it's also a very, very strong energy about, you know, going after what you desire, right? So it's about initiating that, it's also about networking. If you wanna go after your passion, you have so much potential to do so. The judgment card here is really showing that you have so much potential. Do not give up on yourself and do not think that you can't do it for a second because you really can. This is like, for, for many of you, this is music to your ears. You know, it's almost like some of you just needed that push to be like, you should go for your dream. But of course, it's your choice and your decision. Okay, remember, it's your choice, your decision. Um, and for some of you, you know, being financially comfortable is something that's very, very important, uh, or financially stable. So uh, I would highly recommend you, you know, to judge and assess your situation. But what it's showing here is that your dreams are coming true, but you're also going to be pursuing your dreams, you know, and there's that judgment, which shows that it's your choice to do so since you have free will. Oh my goodness, wow Gemini, this is your reading. If this resonates or if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Um, and do take care, do take care. Sending lots of positivity your way.